the new Trello experience is actually in open beta. And how you're going to actually know this, because on the right side, you're going to have this purple button that is going to be a drop down where it's going to say beta. And when you actually click on it, there are going to be some of the options. And one of the options in there is going to be try the beta experience. So you can try it. What this means, this means if you don't like some of the features from the beta experience at any time, you can exit it and return to your previous state. I know the uh, changes can really be frustrating for the users, for the users in general. And I'm talking about the new UI for Jira, the new UI for the Confluence, now the new experience for the Trello. But you know, when there is a change, there is always going to be the adaptation. Maybe at first it's going to be feeling weird. It's going to be feeling strange on how to handle some of the issues. But where I strongly believe that people at the Atlassian are actually working to, you know, improve the user experience which is the goal so we're gonna click on try the beta experience the first thing that you have noticed in here is that now this is a search bar and within this search bar what you can have are options for Trello for the confluence for Atlas, where basically Atlas doesn't exist anymore, this is actually Atlassian Home, and also the Jura. So from Trello, you can search the other stuff. This is actually pretty cool because you have like to view four products in one, but we're actually interested in the boards themselves. So I'm gonna go within one of my boards in here. So first of all, um, one thing that you're actually noticing in here is this whole board view is being covered within the whole width, right? On the left side, you would see like the other boards and everything else that is actually listed that is not in beta. But with this, you have more focus on the board itself. The main thing I want you to pay the attention is on this uh, navigation bar right here. This navigation bar right here actually gives us some options. So first of all, what we are having is the board view. We have then the planner and also we have our inbox. So what happens when I choose the planner on the left side, boom. Oh, this is what we are getting and you can connect your calendar with the Trello. Now, when I actually uh, only you can see your planner and that is the thing. So the one thing that you actually need to keep in mind, at least for the beta for now, I know that some of the users out there actually are using the Outlook email address as well. And the Outlook has its own calendar as well. But for now, there is only availability for the Google Calendar. So I'm going to go with the Google Calendar. I'm going to, I'm going to, you have to accept that Trello is going to have the access to your Google account. Now, if you're actually concerned about the things that as such as the security, which is totally understandable, uh, rest assured, Atlassian makes sure that the security is on the first place. All right. So what we're having in here is indeed our calendar in here. So what what actually this means is I can look look in my calendar here what I'm having to do and also what I can actually do is if I if I'm having some cards in here, I'm having and saying like, you know what, I can adjust some of the things and we're in saying I have a create a comma 
thumbnail for example it's gonna take me some time to do it so what happens is when I actually click on this it's gonna open the card for me I can fill out the card in here I can do all of the regular Trello stuff that I need to do and basically I'm done with it now the uh, question that my also arises can I actually add some of the cards in here technically yes but the thing is when you're doing this there is no like option when you go to the google calendar when you click on a specific time right time frame you put in your hours you put in the name of that and uh that uh, that is going to be there from the trello it doesn't actually work from trello because trello will always uh, create this focus time it actually might be useful, but what if there are actually some other things in there as well? So you need to think through that too. Uh, the another thing that we're actually going to go through is we, when we go to our Google, when I switch to one of my accounts in here, when I go to my, uh, when I go to my Gmail, All right, when I go to my calendar, I go to my calendar. All right, so, and when I go to my calendar, I have some stuff actually in there. And as you can see, this is how my calendar looks like. The thing is, what I can actually do from here is I can go and I can say, uh, this is going to be let's say a task and I'm going to say uh, do this for example and I'm going to say click on save and I'm I'm having some of the things in here so now what actually happens is maybe you're not seeing this change for now but when it's not it's not doing the synchronization I don't know why because I'm having in here having in in here but it's not reflecting here okay that's interesting and that is something that I also have seen in the community that someone actually said that there was a problem about this one okay so what happens if I go here and if I say meeting uh, meeting the board of directors for example okay so want to get better notifications no I don't want to so it's gonna be around here uh, so I have like lunch no okay meeting with the board of directors yeah it's actually in here so it's around 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. and in here it's saying that this is for 2 p.m. Huh. which is not accurate well I believe that this needs to be worked through because well you don't want to show this to the users who are actually working and expecting something all right then we have our inbox right here so what you can actually do you can stack up your cards in here and then when you stack up those cards in here you can actually put them on your calendar now the question would be like is my calendar on google going to synchronize as well so we're talking about the two-way synchronization here okay so that is something that also needs to be uh take uh also needs to be thought through 
and also I have one here that's saying card from the inbox right so that is also having been you know adding in here now the question is okay all, all of that is cool how do I go to another board well you choose the option where it's saying uh, switch the boards and then from here you're actually changing the boards uh, yeah the uh, thing that I might agree on is be before the beta the boards were available on the left panel right here on the left panel you would see the boards you you would see all those things and you would be like huh okay so now I can navigate through these boards and I can you know just go through them but now well in the beta you cannot do that the only thing that you can do is go through here that's it but in general those are the changes that are within the Trello itself. I really hope, I know this This is still actually in the beta. I really hope that this uh, two-way synchronization between the Google Calendar and the uh, and the Trello itself will actually be more, let's say, working in a more synchronized way and uh, I believe that there are going to be more features adding like your Outlook calendars or if you're actually having some kind of sub calendars as well because users have also asked about that so yeah um, overall that this is like a big change for Trello so yeah uh, hope you guys you actually like share subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.